everybody welcome back to my channel Mallory Jane creates my name is Mallory today we're gonna be making some really cute pastel faces out of a coke bottle a Starbucks bottle and a regular vase from the dollar store I saw these pastel ones on the anthropology website and they were really cute but for like the bigger ones they're like $38 and I was like you know what I'm gonna see like what I have at the house so I ended up actually using um a coke bottle that my husband had bought and drank and I was like oh that would be really cute right and then obviously Starbucks coffee anyways um and I always have vases here so all I really and I have like the spray paint you'll see what I used in the video here in a second and then I ended up going to Freeman's and getting some pastel paint and they actually have these cute little samplers there and if you get one a white and mix it together it will lighten it up and make really pretty pastel colors I could have made it a little bit lighter but I still think it turned out good um anyways let's get on to the video okay so let's start off with some things you're gonna need it's gonna be glass bottles any you want to use is perfectly fine and then you're gonna need some white primer or paint and a sealer and then of course you're gonna need some acrylic paint I got mine at Freeman's I just got the testers it was easier and then this is optional so you're gonna need some thread or twine a pair of scissors and then a glue gun now here I'm just starting off with my paint plus primer and I'm just gonna spray these white just to get a good base so it's easier when I go to paint I ended up doing these three times and then the coke bottle I think I went over maybe four because it was really hard to cover that red part okay and then I ended up letting those dry for about 30 40 minutes whenever I was completely done and then here you can see I'm just starting to put on my acrylic paint I ended up mixing white in with all the colors and then mixing Mixing it together just to give it more of a pastel color and then I ended up painting these twice you can paint these more than twice it's totally your preference how dark your glass was if it had any color if you didn't do a white base because doing a white base isn't exactly necessary you don't have to you will be able to tell when you're doing it if you can still see through two times was just good enough for me and then once I was finally done with the second coat I'm gonna give it 20 minutes to dry And I just want to say before you use any spray paint or sealer because we will be using sealer at the end of this make sure you are in like a well ventilated area like outside or in the garage where there's a lot of airflow and you can also wear a mask if you have like asthma problems or anything you definitely are going to want to like um put a mask on especially for the sealer the shellac is like really strong um I just want to let you know like definitely do not do this like inside a house Okay guys, now that it's been 20 minutes and they're totally dry, I'm just taking my sealer and I'm going to spray all three twice just to make sure that the paint sticks and everything's copacetic. Okay guys, and this is the finished product. They turned out really pretty. These are gonna be perfect for spring and summer. However, I am gonna do an extra step for the Coke bottle. So as you can see, I'm just taking my glue gun, putting a little dollop, and then I'm gonna take my yarn and put it right on top of there, and then put a little bit more glue on there just to make sure it holds up. And then we're gonna take our pair of scissors because the glue is very hot and just press that down. And then for this step, I literally fast forwarded it because it's just me wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. So you just keep going around until you get to the point where you're ready to cut it off again with the scissors and then take your glue gun once again and just press that on there with the scissors so you don't burn your fingers and that's pretty much it. So glad I added the extra yarn on there just because I think this gives it a little bit more character and it really looks so beautiful sitting on our nightstand. This turned out really well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please send me pictures if you end up doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you end up doing this, please tag me in it. My socials will be down below for my Facebook and my Instagram. And yeah, I would love to see them. Like if you guys do these or anything else that I have done, please tag me in it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you already have it. And to you guys who are already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And I hope all of you have an amazing day or night. 
wherever you are. Love you guys.